Hi guys, my name is Roger and welcome to a new video. And in this video I would like to present to you the Roland A6 video canvas. As you can see it's almost the same like the SP808. It has the same housing, the same pads, same knobs, sliders, display and even the connections on the back are the same. But the machines are totally different. One of the most important things is that the A6 has an internal hard drive where the SP808 has the zip drive. Something very cool is that you can transform your 808 into an A6. From my website you can download the firmware, put it on the 808 and then you have an A6. When you put in an, uh, an internal hard drive you have a complete official A6. And to make sure that you understand the A6 I have uploaded the owner's manual on my website in English and in Spanish. So you can learn this machine from inside and out. Some important differences I will show you. Over here you see the D-beam. The D-beam is not available on the A6. Also you don't have the synthesizer and the step modulator which is available on the SP-808 eMix Studio, not on the black box. But you can upgrade this black box also to eMix Studio and also the download files are available on my website. Very important difference between the two machines is also that this one, the 808, works with measures and beats and BPM and this one is working with SMTP which is timecode because it's a video machine. It was used to combine it with video equipment and therefore it works with hours, minutes, seconds and frames. Due to the internal hard drive with a 9 hour sampling time it makes it a very cool audio recorder. Because you have 4 tracks but every track has a feed track. Well 8 feed tracks. So you can record 8 different sessions on every track. If we look at the audio clip pad, what's, which is called over here the sample palette, you see you have access to 10 samples from 0 to 9 and you have 3 favorites. And those favorites go to every group, to every bank. So if you select bank 1 you have always the same favorites when you select for example bank 20. They stay the same. If we look at the digital audio effects, you see here one, two, three, four possibilities to select directly different effects. We have a narration effect, voice transformer, a reverb and a delay. And you have the custom preset. And the custom preset gives 100 different kind of effects. From reverb to delay to flanger, um, voice, guitar effects. Um, also the famous final effects which are also available on the SP-808 is the same effect machine as the 808. I will show you now some effects those four effects. I go to narration and I will turn the effects on. So now the narration effect is working. This knob says noise suppressor. 
So this means that the noise on the background will go away. And then we have no noise in the background. If I turn down, for example, these beats, then you will notice that there is no sound, there's no noise on the background. This one is for compression and limiting. Let me turn the beats on again. And we have the limiter, so I can speak very loud in my microphone, but it will not distort. And the compressor is working the other way around. And we have an enhancer over here for the voice. And you get some more high on the voice. I have combined these two now through the MIDI cables. MIDI is working different because it only can sync through MMC and MTC, not with MIDI clock. But I can I can play with the samples on the pads of both machines, but I can also use the sliders. So this is very cool. So now I'm turning down the volumes of these of the SP808. Now we'll select voice transformer. And now the voice transformer is affecting my voice. This is the pitch and my voice is getting down as lower lower and it's getting higher, getting higher, getting higher in all real time effects. You can change the form and also uh, we can change it over here too. So that's very cool. All real time. And I can switch between normal voice with my pitch and I can switch to robot and now my voice stays on the same pitch. So if I go to, uh, if I turn those knobs, my voice stays like this and I can speak higher and I can speak lower, but that doesn't affect because of the robot switch. Over here we see reverb. This is the depth of the reverb. And this is the time of the reverb. Over here we can choose different kind of different types of reverb. So room, hall, and also the plates and gates. And over here, 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 we have a delay. And, and you have the depth and the time and time and time and also of and course also the type 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 our stereo. 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 If we select now we'll custom select preset, custom I will preset. turn down, turn down, turn down these, these effects. effects. And now you hear a radio, which is also a favorite on the SB808. And of course the famous record effect. It's also on the A6 firmware. Pitch shifting or uh, graphic EQs. Delays. 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 Very cool. Delay. And you can adjust those delays. Delay 1, delay 2, delay 3, delay 4. Seesaw phasers, four stage phaser, hard jet flanger. So, also in in terms of of effects, it's a very cool machine. Let me give you an example about sampling. I will sample now um, some samples from my computer. I go to pad record, then we see sound coming in from my microphone. I say level one, so when sound is coming in, it will start recording. I don't do a pre-trigger, and I make sure that the pad play afterwards is on end. This is called drum on the 808, but here it's called end. I don't want to have a loop. I do auto trim and auto divide with five seconds. 
so now I'm ready to go I will turn on the mic and start recording So the sounds are recorded over here and they're already immediately divided. The SP-808 can also divide those samples. And I can go to group number two. With this one, I go to the next part, and I can say, "Well, okay, I like, I like this sound. I make it my favorite." I go to this one, clipboard, and I move it from clipboard to my favorite. It stays over here, but it's also here on my favorite. So, if I go to the other path, the other group, I still have exit to my, to my favorite. So, this is how you can sample and divide immediately those samples to the audio clip pad. And I think it's very nice to, to, to see this. Um, in another video I will show you how to use the audio recorder and um, with uh, other, other instruments and how to, to play with it with uh, MTC. The most important thing about this video was well, huh. now you notice, I thought, well, let's play. Now you hear that I have the samples. I can play the samples also from other instruments. In this case, it's the 808, but also you can use, uh, play with the samples from uh, another MIDI keyboard. And even the favorites. Are a fable. So very cool. So this was just a short explanation of the Roland A6 video canvas. As I said before, if you want to turn your SP808 into an A6, you can do it. Go to my website, download the firmware, put it on your SP808, put in a hard drive, download the owner's manual and you can try it. If you don't like it, erase it and put again the firmware of the A808 on your machine and you won't miss a thing. So guys, thank you for watching and we see each other next time.